Hello, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Daisy. How's everything? Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, Fatima. Okay, so good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure to have you here again, guys. All right, so we are going to start, you know, with the uh, 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 topic that we are going to be discussing tonight. So just give me one second. I don't know what happened with my attendance list. It's not loading. Okay, it is now. So how's everything, guys? How was your day? Was it good? Was it relaxing? Was it difficult? How was it? Are you there? My day was good. Okay, I mean, that's nice. That's really nice to hear. I think the only the only uh, difficult part, uh, especially for the people who lives in uh, downtown San Salvador or Santa Tecla or places like that, is is dealing with traffic, right? I think that would be like kind of complicated. People, I live in Sayapango and I'm working in uh, Colonia Salon. Uh huh. Maybe two hours in the traffic every day. Wow. Are you serious? Almost two hours, but that okay, but that shouldn't be taken like like a half more. an hour. Jesus Christ! Yeah, sometimes it's more. Oh my God! So you had to you had to leave home very early in order to get to your work uh, on time. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's that's uh, the sad part of living uh, downtown. Uh, uh, San Salvador are working in the surroundings there because of the traffic is really complicated there. <sighs> but anyways, right? Yeah, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no other way, right? Yeah, okay. Good, guys. So we're going to start. Just give me one second. I am just going to pass the attendance list. All right, just to start over. Carmen Eugenia. Carmen and Eugenia. Okay, so she's not here. Uh, Cristian Alejandro. Present. Okay, nice. Uh, okay. Um, Daniel Arquímedes. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Daisy Maricela. Present. Ah, okay, nice. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, good. Let me see. Edwin Vladimir. We have the other Edwin. Okay, so he's not here yet. Mm, Estela Mabel. Present teacher. Okay, good. Let me see. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, good. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Jaime Antonio. Okay, not here yet. Jose Eduardo. Jose Eduardo, is it here? Not here yet. Okay, Carla Lisset. Okay, so just not here yet. Kenya Cecilia. Present teacher. Okay, good. All right, Lorena Beatriz. Lorena Beatriz. Okay, so just not here. 
Manuel Antonio. Manuel, ok, no here yet. María Gabriela. Present. Ah, ok, good. Mari Raquel. Present. Ah, ok, very good. Eh, Noemí Betsabe. Present. Ah, she's there. Ok, nice. And the last one, Osvin Alexis. Present. Okay, Osvin, one question. When you get yes. connected, when, when you got connected to Zoom, uh, do you generally do it with the with your email? Are you registered yes. with your yes. email? Yes, I I put my email, but right now I using the cell phone. But uh -huh, the, uh -huh. my computer isn't working. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, it's the thing is that you didn't receive any call today from uh, English Corporativo? No. Uh, okay. Okay. So I think it's a mistake from them in here. The thing is that I don't see any, any minutes from yesterday's class on your record in here so probably they are missing your minutes from yesterday okay but i'm gonna ask later on to then what happened with you in here okay guys good so let's start with tonight's class uh but before uh, starting with the class uh i would like to make a short feedback from what we were discussing last class Okay, and uh, I would like you to help me, guys. What do you remember from last class? What were we discussing last class? What do we remember? What were we discussing yesterday? Hi, teacher. Uh, hi. hi, everybody. Yesterday, uh, we were uh, talking about the channel distributions. Ah, okay. And definitions, and we we have we we had practice uh, about a uh, um, conversation between ah, okay. Joel and Ellie mm -hmm. about the same topic. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you, Mary. All right, somebody else wants to share. What do you remember from yesterday's class? Why do everybody got the cameras off? Are you guys working? Uh, are you out? I feel I feel like I'm just with Daisy, with Mary and Noemi. <laughs> I feel like kind of alone. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. I remember the different uh, distribution channel. Okay. Uh, the concept uh, uh, different. Mm -hmm. uh, the conversation, uh, only okay. that. <laughs> All right, just that. Okay, very good. Let me show you this, guys. Give me one second. Da, 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 da. I would like to show you something really quick. Just to bring up what we were just doing yesterday and part of what we're going to be doing tonight. Give me a second. Tonight, we're going to continue with the same topic that we were just discussing uh, last class, but we're going to introduce this other topic. Give me one second. Expressions of certainty. Okay. So we're going to see the grammar part related to that. We're going to be working in a conversation in the second hour. All right. But the first hour, we're going to be focusing on the distribution channels uh, as we were just doing uh, yesterday, okay? So what's the most relevant or the main topics, you know, the main uh, sections that we're gonna have during the class time? Uh, like right now we're doing uh, the review from the previous class. Uh, some of you have shared, what do you remember from yesterday's class? Um, we're gonna be talking about uh, distribution channels for products. We're gonna see uh, on a small chart that we got in the manual 
explaining the different uh, distribution channels that we got. Then we're gonna be working in some activities that we got in the manual, all right? And then we're gonna work on uh, creating a company for uh, distributing a product. I will let you know later how we're gonna do that uh, part, okay? So this is like what we're gonna be, uh, you know, working on tonight. But let's just start with this, guys. I would like you to bring up what we were just doing yesterday. Okay, and let's start with this word, a retailer. Uh, for example, Fatima, Artiga, what do you remember about this concept? What is a retailer? I just bring it up in here, just, you know, like, to refresh what we were just doing yesterday. Um, yeah, sorry, my dad is no about to <laughs> eat her dinner and eat uh, always. Uh, that's what, why it's working. Retailer, <laughs> retailer uh, sells goods to a small corner quantity. So. Ah, okay, okay, good, good. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Christian, what else do you remember about retailer? On your own way, what is a retailer? Um, retailer is a person or business that um, resale a small quantities of uh, of something. Okay, okay. There you go. Very good. Yeah, guys. If you remember a retailer, basically, it's when we work uh, when when we are talking about those kind of entities of or people who buys or sell in uh, very uh, small quantities, uh, different kinds of products, right? So basically this, this, this one in Spanish are called like uh, minoristas, right? Okay, good. For example, a consultant. I'm gonna ask the ones who got the cameras off. Uh, Elwin Alexander, what did you remember from this word? that we were just discussing yesterday. What is a consultant? Edwin, are you there? Yeah. yeah. The consultant uh, is the people um, on expert. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically, it's, 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 it's uh -huh. like a professional. Okay, uh, it, it, and 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 he he works for the distribution logistics. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. that makes sense. Kind of makes sense what you're saying. Okay, good. So, for yeah. you, basically, a consultant is a uh, professional who works basically for companies. To distribute products that's what you want to say yeah right yeah okay good thank you for your participation sir uh now we're gonna go ahead on to your tokayo edwin palma what do you remember from this one hi hi good evening hi. good evening hey i'm sorry what was the question uh what do you remember from consultant what is uh, what is that term for I'm a consultant. Well, uh -huh. what I remember is um, consultant is a per well a professional person that has the right knowledge to sell uh, any kind of goods for a person or a company. Ah, uh, okay. All right. There you go. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Manuel. A Hello, good evening. Distributor. Good evening. A distributor. How do you remember from that? Let's say distributor for you. Distributor. Distributor is a. Uh... It's a company. It's a company. Uh 
solve the, the different, solve a product, a different, a different star or different, or different, per, or different person. Mm, okay, all right. It may be, okay, in a small company, as you say, or it can even be a person as well, right? In charge of distributing uh, um, products and services, right? To different kinds of uh, small companies, right? Okay, there you go. Thank you, Manuel. Thank you, Patricia. All right, what about a wholesaler? Any volunteer who want to help me out with this? A wholesaler. What do you remember from yesterday? Any volunteer, guys? A person or company uh, that sell goods in large quantity. Ah, I okay. Only. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, Lazy. Good. Uh, I would like to choose another person just to help me out with. Uh, uh, what did I remember? But thank you, Daisy. Yeah, it's basically that one. Oh, let me see. Kenya. What do you remember, Kenya? This word. Okay. I remember that is the company that buy the product and big quantity and in bulk mm -hmm. and then a low price and then they sell less quantity um, in a, a bigger price. Ah, uh, okay. Retail companies, for ah, example. Okay, to retail companies. Okay, basically a wholesaler. Uh, it's a person or entity or company, whatever you want to call it, right? That buys in big quantities, products in big quantities or in bulk, as we were saying yesterday, all right? And then uh, they distribute, right, the products to retailer companies, okay, to retail companies. Okay, very good. Very good. That's what it is, a wholesaler. Okay. What about a manufacturer's representative? Lorena? What do you remember, Lorena? Good evening. Good evening. Um, um, I remember that he's um, a person or a company that mm -hmm. sells um, manufacturers products. Um, um. A wholesalers in retail retailer. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, basically, maybe an entity or a, or a person, right, that represents, okay, the manufacturer, the manufacturer company, right, and uh, this person or entity is in charge of uh, promoting, right, or seeking for uh, customers, right, uh, where to distribute the products. Okay, very good. So that's a manufacturer's representative. Okay, there you go, guys. There you go. So that was part of the vocabulary that we were just discussing, you know, yesterday. Now, let's take a look a little bit about the distribution channels, the different distribution channels that we got, okay, and how they work. This one, you have it in the manual. All right, but I wanted to post it in here yeah, just to make a whole uh, presentation. We got the direct channel. This is one of the channels that we got, the direct channel and how the direct channel works. If you take a look in there, we got the producer. When we talk about the producer, uh, who are we talking about, guys? What do you think is the producer? You there? Hello, a uh, producer could be a person or an entity who uh -huh. takes the raw materials and uh -huh. make a product to sell okay. to other people like consumers. 
There you go. Very good, Fatima. Yeah, well explained. A producer is basically the company, right? Or entity that basically by the raw material produces the, uh, it makes the products, all right? In order to, you know, like sell it. Okay, so the direct channel consists of that the producer creates the product and then the same producer probably has their own a platform of means or means for transporting the product directly to the consumer okay directly to the consumer uh do you do you guys know any company that produces you know any kinds of products and they sell it directly to the consumers Do you know of any company uh, that please, please, does something please, like that? Could you repeat the question? Okay, good. So listen up. The direct channel basically is that consists that the company who produces the product makes the product and then sell it directly to the final consumer, right? Now. The question is, do you know any company who does something like that, that creates the product and then sell it directly to the consumer, to the final consumer? Maybe the fast food restaurants. Ah, okay, very good. Fast food restaurants, they create the product, all right? And they sell it directly to the consumer. Very good. That might be one. Okay, so let's remember. In this case, the direct channel consists of the company produces the product and then sell it to the final consumer directly, okay? In here, we don't have any kind of retailers, uh, any kinds of uh, uh, right, uh, other uh, entities, okay? Like, you know, like intermediate for the product. Now, we got the retail channel, okay? In here, we got another one. What is a retail channel? In this case, we got the company who produces the product, but in this case, that company doesn't sell the product directly to the final consumer. What does this kind of companies uh, do? Generally, they distribute the product to a retailer companies, all right? And then these retailer companies, what they do is just to sell the, the product to the final consumer, okay? So here, the product is not directly sold uh, from the producer to the final consumer, all right? Why? Because in here, we got retailer companies who makes that type of job, okay? So we don't have any kinds of, uh, you know, like direct channels in here. So here is a little bit different, right? Any company guys that you have in mind that does this type of uh, job? Teacher, maybe a beverage company. Ah, okay. Good, the beverage company, for example, I think Pepsi? Like <laughs> Pepsi, for example, exactly. They sell it to retailer stores, right? Or normal stores or supermarkets. Those ones works as retailers and they, they are in charge of selling the product to the final consumer. Very good, that's a good example, nice. Okay, so remember, this is the retail channel. Now, the wholesale channel this is another one. In here, it works a little bit different. Why? In here is like, this one is for bigger companies, you know, in which the main company produces the product and then this product is distributed okay, to wholesale or distributors, right? Uh, companies that are like, you know, below the, the, the main one. And then these wholesale or distributors, 
distribute the product to retailer companies, all right, or retailer stores. And then these ones are in charge of selling the product to the final consumer. So in this case, the product goes through different kinds of entities in this case, right? So taking like a look, taking a look at this kind of channel, which company might come to your mind? And you see something like this. Uh, one company, it could be La Constancia. Okay, how La, Const La Constancia works? Uh, I guess they produce uh, the, uh, the beers and then they sell they sells that beer to another company, for example, Super Selecto, then uh, La Defensa de Don Juan. Then this, uh, this store sells to another, uh, maybe distribu distribu distributor or uh, in uh, people too, for example. Ah, okay, it makes sense, it makes sense. Another way that it could be, uh, that, that they work is like, for example, if you got like Constancia, right? They produce uh, the, the, the beverage, okay? But sometimes like Constancia, they got their own uh, uh, facilities, right? For example, in Usulutan, there's one facility that goes there from uh, La Constancia. Uh, they sell like Coca-Cola and everything. So La Constancia produces the product. The product goes there to the, to the facilities. And from the facilities, they sell the product to retailer stores or small stores. So the stalls sell the product to the final consumer. So this is like the way how it, it works. Okay, very good. It makes sense what you said. All right, so in that case, the product goes through three, I mean, two or three different uh, ways of, you know, like distributors, right? And uh, before getting to the final consumer. And let, we wanna put it like that, that way. All right, good. Until you're here, guys. Uh, do you have any question with this? How these channels work? Are we understanding? Any question that you might have? Okay, no. Okay, there you go. I was imagining that. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you here. Uh, now, I want we to go over the manual. Okay, and in the manual, I want you to open up the page 10. The page 10. Okay, in the page 10, guys, you will find out this information that I was providing to you. I'm gonna share the, here the screen. Okay, this is what I was explaining to you guys. Okay, good. Now, if you don't have any question with this and everything is clear with the distribution channels that we got in here, now you know what is a direct channel, a retail channel, and a wholesale channel. Now, it's your turn for you to help me out with this. Listen up. In here, we got a series of companies, okay? And in here explains how the company does uh, in order to take the product to the final consumer. And it says, look, Categorize the examples according to the channels presented in the chart, it says. Okay, for example, we're gonna read one and then I'm gonna send you to work with this. For example, we got Amazon. It says, Amazon sells kindless to its customers through its own platform. According to what we have been discussing before, guys, which channel does Amazon uses for taking the product to the final consumer? 
which channel do you think uh, they use? Um, first, I think it's um, wholesaler, and then retail comes to A wholesale? You mean this one, the wholesale channel? Yeah. Why? Because Amazon works like a warehouse. So I don't know. I think it's, it's um, a wall table, maybe. Mm, okay. For example, Fatima, have you, have you ever bought something from Amazon? Yeah. Okay. What do you generally do when buying something uh, on Amazon? Uh, we look first, but we have many options of the same product. Uh -huh. mm. Okay, when, when, when you got the product that you like and you want to buy, uh, is there any kind of intermediary a company for you to get the product? Well, I think only the courier, but I don't know if it is worth the carrier. Uh, but uh -huh. actually, actually, the carrier, uh, it, it, it is taken as part of the process. But actually, the carrier, it, it, it wouldn't be part of the 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 as a. So a, you mean it, that Amazon is a retailer? The channel is retailer, no wholesale channel. A retail channel that makes the pre the production and then a retail. But in this case, look, let's take Amazon, okay, as the producer. Let's take Amazon as the producer, okay? Why as the producer? Because uh, Amazon is the one that is selling the product, okay? If Amazon uh, uh, works as the producer, so in order for you to buy on Amazon, you will have another company or entity for that product to be bought. If you're the final consumer, so in that case, it wouldn't be the retail channel not even the wholesale channel. Actually, it will be the direct channel. Why the direct channel? Because on Amazon, as it says in here, sell kindness to its customer through its own platform. So basically, Amazon sell the products directly to the final consumer. That in this case, the final consumer is you. All right, so in that case, it will be the direct channel. Okay. All right, there you go. I understand. Okay, perfect. Now, so here it will be direct channel. There you go. We got another company here, IKEA. Have you ever heard about this company, IKEA? Yes, teacher. Uh, okay, perfect. What it's something IKEA? it's something like that um epa frown exactly. but but it's a furniture you're special exactly all right it's a company in charge of selling uh, mostly things for you know like for the house like epa vidri as, as mary saying okay guys listen up so we get a series of companies in here and we have the way how they distribute the product to the final consumer. I want, I'm gonna send you to work in pairs and I want you to classify these companies, how they distribute the products into these three distribution channels, okay? I want you to choose the distribution channel corresponding to any of the companies that we got in here, okay? 
So just give me one second. I'm gonna stop sharing and uh, try to discuss this as first. And then we're gonna come back in here just to discuss what you wrote in there. Uh, give me one second. How many people? 14. Fatima, Edwin, Kenya, uh, are you there? Can you participate? Yes. Nice. Uh, Maria Gabriela, are you as a listener? So you won't, uh, so you can't participate? Oh, no, not today. I'm in a uh, funeral. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, so you Thank cannot you. participate, but I'm, I'm going to include you in no. a breakout room just for you to listen, okay? Okay. okay. Nice. Thank you. Okay. There you go. Give me one second, guys. Mm -hmm. six, I'm gonna send one person to number six. Okay, perfect. Let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to work on that, guys. to uh, give that last your operation. If we are agreeing, we put uh, like a uh, last word. Okay, let me see. IKEA buy products from different manufacturers and sells them in their store. What do you think, Christian? Is a direct channel, retail channel, or who sell channel? Uh... I think it could be a retail channel because, well, I, I don't know, but it, it's just because they resell the the products and mm. to, to act, well, no. Maybe it's go the wholesale, uh -huh, the yes. wholesale channel. Uh -huh. <laughs> because I, I think they... I agree. You because, agree, okay. Because they, because they they buy all the old products to to after that sales to I think two direct Yes, the second and the okay. I have hi mister, I have hi. a question. Okay, go on. Um um, maybe because I I work in a company that is a supply chain, supply uh -huh. chain, and um, I I have difference uh, with a product. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, for for the number one, mm -hmm. Amazon for me uh, could be a retail channel because Amazon doesn't produce the product only sell the pro uh -huh. i think i have okay now taking that idea taking that idea it, it, it's why um it's considered that it's a direct channel because they have the product even though they don't produce the product but they have it so you as a final consumer let's suppose you want to buy a cell phone for example on amazon Okay, you look at it on the platform and you find the cell phone that you liked and it says, okay, I'm going to buy it. Okay, so Amazon, remember that it has a, what? A bulk of cell phones from the same model, right? For different, uh, you know, people all, all over the world. 
So, but if you want that cell phone and you buy it, so Amazon sends that directly to you. Okay, so you don't buy it from any other store that that store might buy from Amazon. So Amazon is a direct channel between Amazon company to you. That is the final consumer. Okay, there is no like any other, uh, you know, like company or entity in the middle that can deal with, with you as a final uh, consumer. So that's why. And why it cannot be like a retail, uh, you know, like channel? Because remember, Amazon, I mean, it's a huge company that basically they got one product, but in huge quantities, in big quantities. So that's yeah. why it works as a direct channel between their own company to, to the final consumer. Um, the channels in, in this case is um, directly maybe for the the companies that they sell the product. No, no is when the companies produce. It, it, it's understood that in this case, like, for example, and actually I investigated about this because I was like, okay, wait a minute. Amazon is not a producer, but... Yeah but they have their own platform in which they get the product and they sell it in bulk, right? But so, in, in uh -huh. this case, for example, is uh, talk about uh, Amazon. Amazon use different kinds of, of um, companies for send the products. Uh -huh. In my case, it's because, for example, eBay and Amazon, were similar uh -huh. because they use uh, um, shipping companies uh -huh. for for delivery the product. Uh -huh. So yes. basically, those ones it will be carriers only. Mm, okay. Those ones are just channels uh, between Amazon and you, but they work as just as, as a carrier. What is a carrier? A carrier is basically in charge of the logistics of bringing one product from uh, the one who is selling to the one that is buying. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So they work okay. like that. Okay. There you go. Thank you. For example, with number two, what do you think uh, it, it will be? IKEA, it says, buy products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. As your classmate was saying, IKEA is basically a, a company similar to EPA, similar to Bidri, right? That they buy, buy products in bulk, in big quantities, and then they, they distribute the products uh, among the facilities, all right? And they sell the product. So... Okay. Which channel do you think they, they use? Uh, for us, is direct channel. Why? Because it's similar that Amazon, because they have the product. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I understand that the IKEA is... Um, is... Uh, a big company that they have different products like mm -hmm. Amazon. Uh -huh. But in this case, listen, in this case, take, take it not in the fact that they don't produce the product. Take it as, uh, as, as, as basically the sentence says. What do they do according to the sentence? From different, ah, because they, they sell uh, but They're but but at the beginning another store. at the beginning it they says buys buys products buys. from different manufacturers manufacturer manufacturer uh -huh. yeah, okay. okay it means that they okay. buy the product okay don't take it as uh, okay they are not the producer they are similar to Amazon but uh, in here we're taking it like. Uh, according to what the line says, not exactly about the what the company does, you know. 
In this case, it says, buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. Okay? Okay, in this case, retail channel. Retail channel. Okay. A retail channel? Do you think it's a retail channel? Yes, I Why? know. Let's put this. Let's suppose you are the owner of IKEA and you got one IKEA in the four departments all over El Salvador. You got in El Salvador, in San Miguel, Usulutan, eh, Santa Ana, okay? And you buy the products in big quantities. And you say, okay, I am going to distribute these products all over my facilities, my branches, in the four departments. So in that case, it wouldn't be a retail store because they buy in yes. bulk, in big quantities. So it is, it is what? Cool. 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 A wholesale cool. channel, exactly. They can the idea that they buy a, a lot. Uh huh. Teacher, uh, yeah. is the same example uh, the Coca Cola company? The Coca Cola? What does the Coca Cola company do? Uh, it's same it, for the, the exercise number two. I think. Uh, but in this case, uh, the Coca-Cola is the producer, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and, and in order to distribute the product, what does Coca-Cola do? And the supermarket. Uh -huh. um, they stores. put them in the supermarket and then the stores. Okay, good. So in which channel? Would you put Coca-Cola? According to the chart, as a direct channel, as a retail channel, or a wholesale channel? Maybe whole. whole. A wholesale channel? Basically, it, is, think... it, it will be a wholesale, a wholesale channel because they mm -hmm. sell directly to big stores like Super Selectos, okay, or stores like that, okay, and those stores are in, in charge of distributing the product all over small stores and a final consumer. Actually, it is basically, all right, like that with a wholesale channel. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, there you go. Good, guys. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's continue with the other ones. Okay. Up to some groceries, place a line up. Hey, why are I... you why are you alone? <laughs> because Edwin have troubles with uh connection. Uh which Edwin you, you were working with? Edwin Palma. Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna bring him back. It's in here. You are in okay. which three? Give me one second. You haven't finished, right? Mm, kind of. I have doubts. I have doubts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Just give me one. No, I, I, yes, Edwin has problems. He got disconnected again. Yeah, he told me. Jesus Christ. What I'm gonna do with he, he tried he, he tried he tried ma, a lot of times. Yes. Give me one second. Number five. I'm gonna send you to another breakout room so you can join, okay? Okay. Okay, nice. Hi, Mari. I'm there to practice. I don't know if you finish the, the yes. activity. 
Yes, yeah. we finished, but, but uh, uh, practice. I brought I brought my Mary here because her classmate uh, apparently got problems with the internet and uh, and he left the meeting. Okay. Okay. There you go. So okay. you can yes, share. We finished. Ah, you finished. Okay, share with her what you have and why you have uh, uh, the 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 channel there in each one of those things for you to tell me when we are in the main session. Okay. In a couple of minutes, we're gonna go back. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Hello. Hi, have you finished, guys? Yes. Yeah. Mm, okay, very good. You had taken the channels according to what you were reading, right? Yes, uh, okay. according to the channel that I to this information and ah. about the about that okay okay it's writing here <laughs> <laughs> okay for example for ikea it says buy products from different manufacturers and sell them in the uh, their stores which channel do you uh, set there We think hey. this um, as were you, Marian, if you want. No, no, no. Uh, please, Fatima. Do, <laughs> okay. do you explain the teacher? Okay. <laughs> we think this is a retail channel. Uh -huh. Why? Uh, IKEA isn't the producer. Uh, IKEA is like the retailer who sends in their stores in small quantities. In a small quantities? Yes. But okay, but what is what is what is the main function or, or what is the idea that is uh, basically saying in the sentence? What is the sentence focusing on? Mm. According to that. I, 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 I care. I care. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go. Sorry. I, I care. I care about, uh, uh, sell the different products uh -huh. uh, at a different manufacturing and dif and different store. But uh, because um, we we think is the 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 channel. Mm -hmm. Believe me, this this Richard channel is uh -huh. retail channel. Okay, believe me, I totally got your idea, guys. Okay, and I mm -hmm. and I agree with you in one thing, that it might be a retail channel because they distribute or they sell the product to the final consumer. But but in this case, we are not talking about IKEA. Uh, uh, as the one the, the, that sells the product. Listen, we are taking here the main, uh, uh, or we are focusing basically here in the fact that IKEA it says, buys products from different manufacturers. And then what they do, sell them in their stores. Sell them in their stores. Okay. When IKEA buys, products, how do you think they buy them? In small quantities, in big quantities, because that's big what it focuses. They buy the products in different, in, in big quantities, in big bulks. Aha, uh -huh. okay. And what do they do? They distribute that product into the facilities, right? Or branches, we might call them branches, okay. Do you think it, it's, it's serving as a retailer then? Mm. Hmm? Mm. Yeah. Or, yeah, or, yeah. or Manuel, or it can be a wholesale channel. Why? Because they buy in big quantities and they, what do they do? They distribute the product in the branches you know what is a branch? Marcas. No, branch means sucursales. 
Okay, sucursales, okay. branches. Okay. Okay. okay, and they distribute the branches. Okay, and then they sell the product to maybe the final consumer or retail stores. So in that case, it might be a wholesale channel. Mm. Why a wholesale channel? I know you're like, ah, but eh, it doesn't make sense. We are taking in consider we're taking basically or focusing on what it says at the beginning of the sentence. They buy the product, but they don't buy the product in a small quantity. They buy the product in big quantities. Okay. It's like, let's suppose, Manuel, you are the owner of IKEA with Fatima. Okay. And you want to sell uh, furniture. Okay. So yeah, okay. if you buy furnitures, you're not going to buy very, you know, a few furnitures. You're going to buy big quantities of furniture and distribute those furnitures in uh, your branches. It might be a branch in San Miguel. It might be a branch in Santa Ana, Chalatenango. Okay, so you are going to distribute the furnitures all over the facilities for them to be sold to, to the final customer or retailer companies. So you see, so you are not working as a retailer. So you're working as okay. a as wholesale. a wholesale. In, in, the, in this case, in this case, you explain is wholesale channel. Exactly. Yeah. It exactly. is different, a different, a different store, a different branches. Exactly. And, and for example, for example, is um uh, super selectos market, super selectos market, uh, but to buy a different products and Charatenango, a, a different far, a farmers exactly. and, 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 and super selectos uh, sell the products in all, all, all the country. And it's about 105 five store. Actually, yeah, like, yeah, one, one, like, like 160, I think, or more than 60. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. lot, a lot. So Super yeah. Selectos is a clear example about a wholesale channeling here because they buy the product in big quantities and they distribute the product in, dif in the different branches that they have all over the country. Exactly. Oh, yeah. It's the same I, I, IKEA. Uh, IKEA, exactly. It's pretty similar. Okay. okay. There you go. I would like to hear those, 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 those explanations in the main session. Okay. Let's go back because I think everybody has already finished. Okay. See you there. Okay. Okay, apparently some of you got inter internet problems and you got disconnected. Du, 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 du. Yes. Yeah, me. <laughs> okay, but did you finish with your with your classmate, Fatima? Uh, yes. Okay, who are, who are you working with? I remember uh, his name was Edwin, but yeah, we, we got two Edwins, Edwin Alexander and Edwin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Which Edwin is it? was the one? Edwin Alexander? It was you? Edwin Alexander. Edwin Alexander. Ah, okay. Sorry. So you were working with him. Okay, there you go. I am going to, sh uh, let me see, to share the screen. Give me one second. Where is that? Ah, oh, here it is. Oops. Okay. Good. 
Ah, let's check what you did, guys. Who wants to help me with IKEA? Which per wants to help me with IKEA? For me, it's a retail channel. Retailer channel. Who, who said that? Let me see. Kenya. Ah, okay, good. Kenya, who are you working with? With old me. Ah, with uh, and Osvin, Osvin and Mary. Ah, okay, very good. Okay, good. Um, give me one second. Osvin, read read what IKEA does, please. And then we're gonna discuss what you have there. And why did you put that channel? Okay. IKEA by products from different manufacturers and sell them in their store. Ah, okay, very good. It says IKEA buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. Okay, it is said that IKEA is basically a huge, huge, huge company, uh, kind of similar to EPA, kind of similar to Pedri, as Mary was saying before. All right. I think this, this company is from Europe. Uh, okay. And it says, listen, buys products from different manufacturers and sells them in their stores. Why, guys? Why did you set that channel, the retail channel? Why? Can you tell me why you choose that one? Has been uh, Kenya. For me, it's because... Mm -hmm. For me, it's because they don't produce the product. Even mm -hmm. though they have different manufacturers and then they buy and then they sell a little quantity because when you go to EPA, mm -hmm. you don't buy in a big quantity, if not in a little quantities mm -hmm. for me. Okay. Oswin? And course, the... Uh... the and uh -huh. it's directly. It's directly. Okay, it makes sense what yes, you say. I, I, I agree with Kenya. Um, it's a retail channel mm -hmm. because the, the IKEA buys product from different manufacturers and then, and then uh, IKEA sells them in their store. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Mary, something else to add? Mm, I agree with Kenya. Um, I'm so a little confused <laughs> about that, but I think <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a right. I don't know because um, IKEA is so big and have a relation with a lot of um, distribu distributor? distributors. Yeah. yeah, distributors. Okay. And I don't know if 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 a uh, retail or who who sell channel. Okay. Kenya and Osvin. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes. It's the uh, okay. Um, I, I it's will put a little confused. It's a little confused. <laughs> okay. I will put because, the situation. Because... Uh -huh. yeah. I will put the situation and I want you to think. Okay. For you, Osvin and Kenya. Let's suppose you guys are the owners of uh, IKEA. Okay. And you have founded IKEA. And IKEA is in El Salvador, right? What do they sell, Mary? They sell furniture, right? The, 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 that's their, yes. their, their, their core, yes. furniture. Okay, good. Yes. Let's suppose Kenya and Asvin got the main uh, headquarter. You know what is a headquarter? Like, like the Casa Matriz, the, 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 the original uh, yes. place. Okay, good. 
let's suppose it is in San Salvador, okay? But you're growing up so big that you move to San Miguel, you move to Santa Ana, you move to Chalatenango, you move to Sulutan, okay? All over the 14 departments, you get one branch. Okay, good. And let's suppose you sell uh, furniture and things for, uh, for, for, for the house. Okay, and it says, listen, he buys products from different manufacturers. Okay, good. Let's suppose you sell uh, sofas. Okay, Let, let's put as an example, you sell sofas. And when you buy sofas to manufacturers, are you going to buy in small quantities? Or are you going to buy in bulk? They buy in bulk. Why do they buy in bulk? <laughs> Why? Because they, they have to have a stock for the sales. Okay, and because they have the... they only buy one, <laughs> not not is a business. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Okay, so the main focus on here, guys, is that they buy in big quantities, and what do they do with those big quantities? They distribute the product over the branches that they have in different. Uh, let's suppose in here, in the different departments, okay? So are you considering that IKEA, it, it is set as a retail channel? In that, in that case, um, I think it's a nope. wholesale channel. <laughs> it's a wholesale channel, that's correct. That's what it is. It's a wholesale, wholesale channel. Yeah, I understood the idea that, that, that you said, like, okay, one, one branch sells, but they don't sell in big quantities. They sell just a couple of them to the final consumer, right? But the main focus in here is that they buy products, right? And how do they do? In big quantities, right? Okay, good. So that's a wholesale channel. Teacher, uh -huh. teacher is important, um, maybe um, think that, um, are distribution channels, not only uh, producers. Exactly, exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Okay, so they buy in bulk, so that's why they they belong in a, in a wholesale or just, and, and they become in distributors as well, right? Because they distribute the product all over the branches. Okay, so IKEA here, remember, wholesale channel. Now, uh, Christian. And uh, your classmates, Can you please read number three and tell me which channel you said for that one? Uh, number three, a Wilson Grocers. So please align of independent grocery stores with purchase in bulk. Aha. Which channel did you choose and why? We say, we'll say channel, but I was thinking about that. It maybe could be a direct direct channel because they are um, like uh, producers, and after that they sell the 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 product in a big quantity to the consumer. So I don't know. I, I I'm I'm a little confused, but I I, I will wait. <laughs> okay, it says. Listen, awesome. Grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores with a per with purchases in bulk. With purchases in bulk. Okay. Uh, who were you working with? I was working with um, Lorena. And maybe ah Daniel Archimedes. Okay, good. Lorena and Daniel. Did you agree with Christian? <laughs> Sorry, what Christian say? <laughs> okay, Christian. <laughs> what was the channel that you chose? 
Uh, well, uh, we chose um, the wall sale, but wall sale. I was thinking about that and maybe it could be a direct channel. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. But the direct channel it will be, remember, a direct channel is like when you sell something, let's suppose you're the producer and I am the final consumer and I buy directly to you. That's a direct channel. But it says in here, listen, Awesome Grocers, that's the name of the company, okay? Awesome Grocers supplies a line of independent grocery stores, okay? Independent grocery stores with purchases in bulk. Okay. Do you both, Lorena and uh, uh, Daniel, agree with Christian? But no, I, I don't agree. Uh, okay, according to you, what, what would be the channel? According to me, according to me, is for me who sells, who sells channel, who sell, house wholesale channel. Uh, yeah. Okay, and Lorena says yes. Okay, why? Yes. Why? Because. Uh, our some grocers supplies, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> to, to the independent grocery store, a small store. I understand. Uh, with Pushar Stemble, uh, they buy products, uh, a big products. For after that, they, they sell uh, a small store. I understand. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Lorena, do you for, for agree? It, for me. Okay. All right. For you, it's a wholesale channel. Lorena, do you agree with him? I, I think in, um, in this uh, wholesale sales because it's uh, in supplies alliance. Independent grocers, and so it's not in direct channel. And so um, they uh, sell them in in a purchase by uh, by bulk. And I guess who sells channel? Wholesale channel. Okay, give me a second. Edwin Palma. You and your classmate, what do you have in there? Uh, well, I just write down in the chat that my signal was weak, so I couldn't finish. Uh, oh, you couldn't finish. Okay. Uh, to play I was note, here, so right? I couldn't finish. Okay. But uh, I got I got an idea. Mm -hmm. It could be a it could be a retail channel because also in grocery supplies is is for example one company. Mm -hmm. Then they uh, they have uh, inside the like line of independent independent grocery store. So my idea it could be that they sell or they produce uh, uh, a specific uh, product to another uh, store. Mm, okay. Makes sense, your idea. Okay, so <laughs> there is a division in here. Listen up, guys. <laughs> for, this is for everybody, okay? Christian, uh, according to Christian, it will be uh, the, the, this 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 uh, store uh, works with a direct channel. Daniel and Lorena says that this is this is what guys wholesale channel. Yeah. And Elwin on the other side, it says that it might be uh, the retail channel, okay? And he gives his idea why he thinks that it might work like that. Okay, for the rest, guys, who agrees with Christian that it's a direct channel? Who, agree with, who agrees with uh, Christian? Nobody? Anybody that says me? 
No? Okay. You're alone, Christian. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but okay. in my defense, I say that we'll say it was the, the, the channel. Okay, 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 good. Uh, and who agrees with Daniel and Lorena, thinking that it, it is a, a wholesale channel? At least a little hand in there, man, supporting them. Uh, this is for the rest of the class. Who support uh, Daniela, I mean, Lorena and Daniel? Nobody? Ah, Fatima. Okay, Fatima Lourdes. Anyone else? Anybody else? Okay. And who agrees with the idea of Edwin Palma that this might be a retail channel? People at least say me or oh, at least raise a hand. You don't, you, you don't choose any, any of the three channels or what? <laughs> and I'm talking about Fatima, both Fatimas, uh, Kenya, Elwin, Alexander, Estela, if it is there, Oswin, Noemi, Daisy. I, sorry, I, I think in this one, everybody got a little bit confused. <laughs> I see because no, if I say the Christian's uh, 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 channel, nobody says me. Uh, Lorena, Daniel, nobody says it. Okay, good guys. Listen, I want you to pay attention to this. It says, give me one second. Oops. Okay, it says, listen, awesome grocers supplies, supplies a line of independent grocery stores with purchases, okay, with purchases in bulk, even though they buy in bulk, in bulk, what do they do? What is the main function of this or the idea of this uh, uh, sentence? That this company over here supplies what? This kind of independent, uh, independent grocery stores Okay, but in this case, in this case, they are not, they are not big buyers. They basically, okay, this company is the one that produces, okay? This company is the one that produces, the one. But these independent grocery stores, they don't have a lot of branches all over cities, okay, or departments or whatever these companies are or these stores are, they are not big stores enough to buy like huge amounts of, uh, you know, groceries and spread and distribute all over the branches. So in this case, Elwin was right. They buy. Uh, okay, the product, but they sell them in the stores there. So they are independent stores. They are not big stores, right? So in here, it's the retail channel. Okay, this is the one that is used in here. Okay, because these independent grocery stores, they don't have branches. Okay. They don't have branches. They just buy the product and sell the product to the final consumer, but that's it, okay? They don't have branches to distribute the product that they buy, okay? Or at least they, it is not mentioned in here. On the other side in here, yeah, look, buy products from different manufacturers and sell them in their stores. So it means there are more branches in here, okay? Now, Let's talk about the Dell company. Let me see who's missing. Fatima. Artiga. Who were you working with, Fatima? With me, teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. I, I, I think uh, Dell is uh, a di direct channel. 
Okay. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. Cells uh, by. Okay, uh, let a, me see. A, a platform mm -hmm. and, and own call center. Okay, it says Dell Computer sells through its own online platform or call center. Hmm. So. You think it's a direct channel? Yeah. Okay, and Fatima agrees with you. Fatima, do you agree with Edwin? Are you there, Fatima? Yes, yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, there you go. Uh, for the rest of the class, do you agree with them? Do you guys agree with uh, Edwin and Fatima? That is a direct channel? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. In this case, Dell, it's a huge company that basically has created its own platform to sell the products directly to the final consumer. All right, very good. Yeah, that's a direct channel. Okay, now the next one, the GAP, it says, or oh, GAP buys clothes from other manufacturers to sell in their stores. Which group is missing to participate? Noemi and Maybe Daisy. For, uh, yes, um, okay. for us uh, is wholesale uh, channel because we think is similar to IKEA. Ah, okay, very good. Yeah, it's very similar to IKEA. Okay, they say something else to add. Yes. Huh? Yes, teacher. We think the same. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you. I thought I thought you will add something else. Yeah, basically, it's it's no, teacher. <laughs> it's the same as IKEA uh, or IKEA. Why? Because in this case, this type of a store, they get branches in different uh, countries, so they buy in bulk and they sell. Uh, and they uh, spread the product all over the branches for them to be sold. Okay, very good. You're right, girls. Okay, what about the last one? Better Grocer supplies a line of independent grocery stores with uh, purchases in bulk. This is for anybody who wants to participate. Who wants to tell me the channel of this one? Uh, this this is uh, like the number three. Ah, okay. Yeah, basically. Uh huh. Go on. They 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 sell uh, all their stores. Okay. Very good. Uh, and I think it's a a, a retail. A retail channel, the retail channel. Very good. Yeah, basically this is like the retail channel, all right? That this uh, company uses, all right? Very good, guys. Okay, nice. Now, I would like to discuss these questions to you guys. Listen, it says, which channel is more effective according to you? The direct channel, the retail channel, or wholesale channel? Which channel do you think it's, it's more effective? Any idea? For me, for me teacher, is, is the, it's a good idea to combine channels. To combine channels? Ah, okay. But 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 in this case, if you had the, the 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 only option to choose one channel, which channel would you choose? 
which one do you think uh, for you it's it will be more effective for me it could be a direct channel because if i start with something mm -hmm. um this is the way this is the best way for me maybe okay that will be the best way for you okay produce the uh, the product and then sell it to the final consumer yes okay good uh somebody else any other opinion guys okay i will point at someone there mm. but i don't want to choose anyone like that manuel Give me a number from one to 15. Excuse me, I repeat. Give me, a, give me a number from one to 15. I don't want to point out someone. Seven. Uh, seven, okay, give me one second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there you go. Daniel. Okay, Daniel. Which channel will you choose if you run your own business? For, what uh, channel? For, for your product. For, for my product. In my case, I call select a direct channel because uh, if I sell my product to the final customer, it's not necessary to spend more money. Uh, if, uh, the products could, could be um, uh, chips, I think. If you use a different channel, uh, the products increase the price, I think. Mm, okay, it makes sense what you said. Okay, very good. All right, now, the next question, guys. Is it a good idea to combine channels to get better results? Osbin, That's you were participating. Uh, uh -huh. If for me or for the other one? Uh, if, if, you want, if you want to share your opinion, go on, no problem. <laughs> uh, that is possible. Uh, if you need to, to sell a lot of in different uh, in different place, in different people, that is necessary to use a uh, convenient, the different channel, I think. Okay, good, good. Somebody else who wants you to call increase your, your ah, okay. You can only increase yourself. Exactly, you can. Uh, you could increase yourself. All right. Any other participation? Let's do something, Daniel. Nobody wants to participate. Help me at choosing one, Daniel. Tell me. I want that boy or that girl to participate. Mention one name. <laughs> Let me check the list. <laughs> Go on, sir. Oh. Mm. <laughs> I love our listener. <laughs> no, not actually. As a listener, I just got Maria Gabriela and uh, oh, right. Stella, and the rest, I guess, is there. Yes, Stella, Stella, you could select. Uh, no, 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 but Stella is, 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 is. No, oh, yeah, Anna, you listen, okay. Stella and, and Maria, case, Kenya. And Maria Gabriela is, uh, are as uh, listeners. You can I choose select whether, Kenya. Uh -huh. Kenya. I will select Kenya, yeah. Okay, Kenya, you there? Yes, I am here. Okay, good. Kenya, do you think it's a good idea to mixed channels in order to get good results? Sorry, repeat. Uh, it's about the question, the last part. Do you think it's a good idea to combine the channels to get better results? Yes, for me, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. But I think that we have to have resource or money because it is expensive mm. produce distribution 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 and uh -huh. yes in sales for okay. me is is expensive 
You have mm -hmm. you had a lot of resource. Ah, uh, okay, it makes that sense. That is good because the the company have the more profits. Mm -hmm. That it makes sense. Okay, okay, there you go. Yeah, in that case, for a business that is just starting. Okay, with uh, not that uh, much, you know, capital, it will be it will be like like uh, difficult to get the uh, distributors and and everything, right? I think you it will start uh, using a direct channel. As long as the company is increasing, it, it will be a mixed. It can be a a mix of channels, right? Just to expand the the products. All right, uh, uh, through the distribution channels, right? Okay, now guys, give me one second. I wanna show you something. I want we to jump into the page 12. I wanna show you something. Now we're gonna talk a little bit about grammar. I just want uh, we to read something with this. It's this one. How to use expressions of certainty. Okay, expressions of certainty. It says, look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. We're not just going to complete the exercise right now, but just to check out how to use this type of words in sentences, okay? It says, use these expressions to show how certain or sure you feel about an action or event. Okay, we're just going to see a couple of them in here. And then we're going to just put them into practice. Okay, uh, Noemi, could you please help me out this reading this part? Yes. Expression of certain certainty mm -hmm. appear before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. Ah, okay, very good. Thank you. Daisy, help me read in this example. The invest the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. Okay. Uh, only yeah, only that one. Okay. Okay. It says, "Listen, expressions of certainty uh, certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence." It says, "Okay, but after the auxiliary verb." Okay, and it says in here, "The investor is okay." In here, we got the main uh, the, the the auxiliary verb. It says, "Certainly coming tomorrow." Okay, so coming is basically what? The main verb certainly is the expression expressing uh, uh, certainty. Okay, and we got in here that, is, that the verb be here is, is just like part of an auxiliary verb. Okay, Daniel, help me out reading the second example, please. Okay. The manager obviously shoots the core sales approach to distribution. Okay, good. So in this case, guys, we're using these words over here, these expressions, just to assure that something is happening, that something happened, or that something is going to happen, okay? In here, what you are doing when you're expressing sentences like this is just expressing that you are sure about something, okay, or an action that it's just going to happen using certainly and obviously. Okay, good. Could you guys give me an example using the word obviously? For example, for example, let's take a look at this. It is obviously, okay, we're taking the class. 
Okay, or obviously we're taking the English class right now. Or in the other way around, we are obviously taking the English class. That sits better with that, that part. Now, give me one example using obviously. In which the word obviously is right before the main verb. Another example it will be just for you to have an idea. Okay. Teacher, uh, maybe, huh? maybe uh, she is obviously, obviously um, paying attention in the class. Okay, very <laughs> good. Thank you, Mary. Mary, help me out choosing any of your classmates to give me another example. Uh, a number. Uh, no, 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 uh, a name. A name, okay. Um, oh, okay, Elvin, El Elvin is saying like me. Oh, okay, okay. Elvin. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> okay, an example it could be uh, my car, it is obviously is not working. <laughs> okay, my car is obviously no not working. <laughs> Okay, not working. There you go. I will set that with my motorcycle, man. It broke down today. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, Elwin, help me out choosing one more person in order to, to continue. Okay, okay. I will, I will choose um, uh, Christian Ordonez. Ah, okay. Um, it's obviously that I'm talking with you. Okay. Oh, well, I am obviously talking to you. <laughs> okay. To you, okay. There you go. Very good. Okay. So let's remember that's words like certainly or obviously is just so assure something, right? It's just giving you an assurance that you are doing an action. Okay. Now it says. And close of course and in all likelihood in commas when they occur, listen up, when they occur in the middle of the sentence. We got of course and in all likelihood. Have you ever heard this, this expression? In all likelihood? What is that? Of course, is 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 is. Of course, you know this, but in all likelihood, what is that? In all likelihood, what do you think is that, guys? You have never heard that expression before. In all likelihood, in no, Spanish, no. in in Spanish. That expression in all like here, it's like con toda probabilidad. Okay. That's what it what it says. That's the real meaning of it. I never hear that. Ah, okay, good. So in here is in all like here, it's like uh translated into our Spanish will be like uh Muy probable, like that. Con toda probabilidad, muy probable que algo suceda. Okay, let's use it that way. Muy probable, in all likelihood. Okay, and this word generally goes, uh, this phrase actually generally goes between commas. Let's take a look at some examples in here that you got. Uh, let me see. Fatima, uh, Lourdes. Mm -hmm. Okay, could you help me out reading the first example? Yes, uh, the investment mean, of course, a pay rise for the employees. Okay, the investment meant, of course, a pay raise for the employees. Okay, if you see, of course, it goes there because in that case, we are assuring that something is going to happen. 
And what is it going to happen in this case? A payment, a raise payment for the employees. In where? Probably in the company that is going to be invested. Okay. Now, uh, no, 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 no. Lorena, help me read the, 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 the other example. And I'm feeling up, are, you know, like, 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 como se pronuncia eso? Okay, in all likelihood, ready? Likehood, ready to make their business, business? business grow. Okay, good. Listen up. Ed and Phil, Philip actually, are in all likelihood ready to make their business Life. grow. In Spanish, how do you understand that sentence? How would you translate that sentence into, into Spanish, guys? Philip están probablemente listos para hacer para hacer crecer en su negocio. Sus negocios. Mm -hmm. Okay, probablemente listos o con toda probabilidad listos para hacer crecer su negocio. Okay, very good. There you go. So in all likelihood, we use it that like that, and of course. Good. In this case, guys, just as a, as, a, as an example, I want all of you take your notebook. If you have one or, or you can type it in the computer, write me one example using an old likelihood. I want to ask you well, using of course, because of course it's a common word, but in all likelihood, it's not that common to you. So give me one example or write one example for me using in all likelihood. And remember, in all likelihood, it has to be between commas. Let's write down one example. When you finish, let me know, please. I'm done. Perfect. So I will set my example using you guys. My students are in all likelihood going to write one example for me using that expression. And I set my example already. Good. So Christian is done. Who else is done? Mary, you finished? Not yet? Okay. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. If I study, Daisy, if I study, okay, eliminate two. Okay. <laughs> Let me know, guys, when you finish, please. You should start over. Reading examples. Okay, now it's okay, Daisy. Good. Okay. 
Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna start. I think uh, some of you have already finished. I'm gonna start with the ones who finished already. Elwin, you raise your hand. Okay, uh, read what you have. Uh, well, I this this one. Tomorrow is, in all likelihood, I like try to study in your gallery. Repeat again. Tomorrow is in all like likelihood. I try to study new vocabulary. Tomorrow, uh, you know what? Instead of putting I right after in all likelihood, put it at the beginning. Tomorrow, okay. comma. I and then come again in all likelihood. Okay. Going to try to study. And then what you wrote. Okay. And right. that would be like ah, uh, uh, and that would be like translating into Spanish like ah, uh, mañana con toda probabilidad la tarea de estudiar o practicar or whatever you want to write down. Okay. Read it, re read it now. You have? Tomorrow I in all likelihood I'm going to try going to try study new vocabulary. Okay. Eliminate the I at, uh, right after all likelihood, okay? And just put it okay. and just put it going to going to. Okay. Okay, good. There you go, sir. Christian? Thank you, by the way, Elvin. All right. Christian, read yours. Uh, we are in all likelihood going to pass the English course. <laughs> okay, good, good. You're sure in that everybody is going to pass. That's cool. There you go. Somebody else that have finished? Fatima, okay, Fatima, let's go. After this class, in I likelihood, I will go to sleep. And all likelihood, I'm going to sleep. Okay, <laughs> okay, good example, actually. There you go. Somebody else? I will be in all likelihood, busy all the day at work tomorrow. Okay, very good, Noemi. Thank you. Somebody else? Uh, Julio is in all likelihood like take a new position in the company. Ah, okay. Good, good. Somebody else? Thank you, Mary. Me. The runner in all likelihood win the gold medal. Da, 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 da. Repeat again. I didn't listen. Sorry. <laughs> okay. The runner, the runner in all like uh, again, again. The runner in all like likelihood. Likelihood. Uh huh. Likelihood win the gold medal. Okay, there you go. Thank you, sir. Very good. Yeah. Uh, who's missing? Give me one second. I got Julio using all my food to take a new position. No, okay, good, good. Somebody else? Me. Okay, go, Edwin. Okay. Tonight, in all likelihood, I will leave work late. Now, nah, okay, very good. I will work late. Okay, nice. Fatima? Um, in a few months, um, I like, in all likelihood, uh -huh. I'm going to travel to Colombia. Okay, in a few months. In all likelihood, I'm going to travel to Colombia. Okay, good. Nice. Let me guess, Cartagena. <laughs> yeah, or Bogota, I don't know. That's a cool city. 
Okay, to visit. Okay, thank you for your example. Uh, Kenya, have you finished? You there, Kenya? Yes, teacher. Okay. If I attend the class, in all likelihood, uh -huh. I'm going to learn English. Mm, okay, very good. Thank you. That was a cool example. Uh, da, 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 take the break. Okay, cool. Ready for me, Lorena? Tomorrow, you know, like like take likelihood. a break, a break okay. early, early. Okay, let's put it this way. Look, it will sit better if you write it down like this. Okay. Just modify a little bit that, that that one that you have, okay? Thank you. Who's missing? Let me see. I get some. Manuel. Manuel is a, a little bit quiet today. Hi, Manuel. <laughs> kind of I'm tired. I'm tired. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I, Andra, I was driving. A lot. <laughs> ah, I can tell. Yeah. And the traffic is crowded. <laughs> yeah, man. Traffic jam is the worst. Oh, ah. yeah. Okay. Do you have your example, sir? Oh, yeah. And my example is if I, if I, if I eat a shrimp, in all likelihood, I get sick. I'm allergic. Okay, good, good. There you go. Okay, nice, nice. Osvin, I'm gonna finish with you, Osvin. Okay. Today, in our likelihood, the two learn English. Okay, okay, there you go. Thank you, sir. All right, now let's move into this one. It says in here, guys. Sometimes expressions of certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, can be placed at the beginning of the sentence, it says. Fatima Lourdes, could you please help me out reading the first one? Yes. Surely the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, da, da, da. Edwin Alexander, help me out reading the second one, please. Okay, solo dígame cómo se dice. Doubtless. Doubtless. Okay. Doubtless, the shipment will arrive on time. Okay, very good. What is doubtless? What do you think is doubtless? What is without doubt? doubt. Is without. Okay, with no doubt. Okay, good. Doubt is como duda, right? Doubt. Doubtless is the opposite. Sin duda alguna, right? There you go. That's what it is. Okay, doubtless. Okay, the Chapman will arrive on time. Doubtless, in five minutes, we're going to finish the class. All right? So that will be another example as well, right? So we got those expressions at the beginning. Okay, and what are they express expressing? Remember, certainty. Okay, certainty. Then it says in here, these expressions can also be used at the end of the sentence. 
right? Not only at the beginning, but also at the end of the sentence. Christian, tell me a reading example, please. Partnering with a retailer will help us reach many more customers, obviously. Obviously. Okay, good. Good. Any other example that might come to your to your mind, people using obviously? For example, I can say, I will finish the class exactly at 10, obviously. Any other example that you might tell me using the word obviously? Maybe um I have I had a hard day today. I am tired, obviously. Okay, very good. There you go. Somebody else? Okay, since I see like nobody wants to participate or everybody's like pointing out and looking at the other place and not at the camera, I will choose the, the people. And I'm going to start with the ones who got the cameras up. Hmm. Patty Martia, did you please give me one example using the word obviously? Mm, if it is correct to use at the beginning of. Uh, yeah, you can place it at the beginning as well. Yes, it can go at the beginning or at the end. So obviously, I'm a pretty woman. <laughs> oh, you can say, I'm a pretty woman, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. There you go. <laughs> nice. Good example. Now, Lorena, give me another one. Um, um I'm going to sleep all the night, obviously. <laughs> okay. Good example. Good example. All right. So, another for me, it would be like since I am your teacher, all right? Oh, since I am teaching you the module, so I am the teacher, obviously, right? <laughs> there you go. I will just got one more person just to finish up with this. Uh, mm -hmm. Who wants to be the one? Mary. I'm going to choose Mary. All right, Mary. Could you please give me one example using the word, obviously? Sorry, let me. Um, maybe about my job today. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go. Uh -huh. What can you express? In, in the in in um. In a international um, woman day, uh -huh. my partners waiting um, a gift, obviously. Ah, okay. Your partners or your coworkers waited yep. a gift, obviously. Uh, today is the international uh, women day. Tomorrow. Ah, uh, tomorrow. tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. eight. Okay, very good. Nice. Okay, there you go. Okay, guys. Any question with this with this expressions? I you want guys... to say. Huh? Okay, let's go. I let's... want to say at the end of the day, uh -huh. we feel tired, obviously. <sighs> yes. Exactly. I do really agree with you, <laughs> especially on, on weekends for me. Uh -huh. um, I'm leaving early for work. Obviously, I arrive early. I am leaving for work. Uh -huh. uh, I am leaving early for work. Okay. okay. I am leaving early for work. Obviously, Obviously, I am arriving right early. I am early. I am arriving early. Arriving. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Yeah. 
So you and say, and I and I can tell you, obviously, if you leave your house early to work, you will arrive super early to your work. Okay, there you go. Okay, good. Any question with these structures, guys? Something that might not be so clear to you? Everything okay? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. Sweet. Yes. Sweet. Obviously. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, you may say, obviously, certainly, of course. So you see, you can, in all likelihood, in likelihood, you, you can even use that one. All right. Remember, just to express certainty. By tomorrow, we will continue with this. We're going to be reading this short conversation that we got over here and some extra practices using this S structure. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pass the attendance list. Oh, I told you that I was finishing the class exactly at 10 and it's 10 or 1. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to go ahead and pass the attendance list just to let you go, guys. Carmen Eugenia. Okay, so she didn't get connected. Christian Alejandro. Present. Okay, good. Uh, Christian, uh, nobody uh, contacted you today? Uh, not yet. Not yet? Okay. Yeah, because I, I, I told you that, I, I told the, these people about you that you wanted to change the, the, the email. Uh, okay, but no, yeah, they, they don't contact me. Mm, okay. I will, I will remind them. I will remind about that for them tomorrow. Okay, okay. thank you. All right. Daniel Arquimedes? Present, teacher. Okay, good. Daniel, since uh, I don't have yet uh, Carmen Eugenia, I didn't have it yesterday, so I had Christian yesterday in the feedback. So I will ask you to stay with me right after class today, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Daisy Maricela. Present. Okay, nice. Let me see. Edwin Alexander. Present. Okay, perfect. Edwin Vladimir. Present. Okay, very good. Estela Mabel. Present, teacher. Okay, excellent. Fatima Adriana. Present. Okay, good. Fatima Lourdes. Present. Okay, nice. Jaime Antonio. Okay, he didn't get connected. Jose Eduardo. Jose Eduardo, okay. He didn't get connected. Carla Lisette, not even Carla. Uh, Kenya Cecilia. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Lorena Beatriz. Present. Okay, perfect. Manuel Antonio. Present teacher. Okay, excellent. Maria Gabriela. Present. Okay. Uh, Mary Raquel. Present. Okay. Good. Uh, Noemi Betsabe. Present. Okay. And we got the last one, Osvin Alexis. Present. Okay. There you go. So if there's no questions for the class people, thank you for getting connected and I will wait for you tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Good See you tomorrow. Okay, Daniel. So let's just start over with this uh, short uh, you know, like time and we're gonna have it here. And let's remember this 10 minutes feedback is just to clarify any question that you can have related to this class or yesterday's class. So I don't know if you have questions, sir, 
about the class, something that is not that clear for you? <laughs> no, it's, for me, it's all is clear. But uh, the topics, uh, for me, it's a little bit difficult because uh, I have experience about the factory and the industry. But yeah. in this case, uh, we are talking about a sales, uh, a stores, a products. It's a different exactly. way. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's sometimes it's a little bit difficult. But remember, in here, what we pretend with this, the, with this kind of topics, is just trying to have a little bit knowledge from this uh, topics. But the main idea here is just to practice. You know, talk, speak, uh -huh. uh, discuss with your classmates. Uh, when I send you to the breakout rooms, the idea in here is for you to practice the English, right? That's yeah, what we're yeah, pretending yeah. here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I, I really like it to, to receive the, the, the English class at this, at this platform. But yes, for me, I think it's okay because I learn something uh, new every exactly. day. Exactly. We learn something new. We learn new vocabulary. Yeah, words related, you know, to sales and everything. And, and believe me, even me as teacher, this is something uh, sometimes new for me because in here, you know, since I'm a teacher, I just focusing on teaching another language, but these topics are related, you know, to, to uh, what, consumers, uh, producers, and everything related to, to products. So this is also new for me sometimes. So uh, I learn as a teacher, and I'm pretty sure you, as a student, you learn as well. Yeah, because yeah, it's very interesting, to... very interesting to know. <laughs> exactly. Believe me that I had to read a lot about this distribution channels in order for me to 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 understand and try to explain to you these things. <laughs> yes, it's a yeah, distribution channel for me. What is it talking about? Well, I don't know what does that mean. It's a new world. Uh, what is uh, the main idea of the topics? But step by step and by step is more clearly. And while you are develop the topics, I for me I clarify my name. What is the topic? Oh, no. that's, that's, yeah. that's 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 true. That's, that's okay. Cool. That is cool, and that's the idea, you know, to try to understand the topic but also discuss with your classmates, right? Because the idea here is like, not just to know about the topic, but also to share your ideas, to share your thoughts about the, the, the topic that we're talking about and everything. And of course, we're gonna have uh, those uh, little points, grammar points, like the one that we were just practicing uh, at the end of the class, right? Expressions, yeah. you know, like, that we can use to 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 express certainty. Yes, I would like to if you can say uh, giving us the class a more dynamic with a pause or with a play. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, in the future we will we will do that. Uh, the thing is that I think in the breakout rooms I will spread uh, some uh, some uh, worksheets in our future. Because you know, and I and I have like like pages in which we can even play dynamics with these things, but the thing is that since I, we upload these videos on YouTube, there have been videos in which YouTube have blocked us the videos because mm -hmm. of copyright. They say no, you're using third party, uh, you know, uh, pictures or resources, so I am going to block your video. And uh, we have to, you know, like find a way how to teach the class again in order to have the record of the video. That's that's that that that's what happens sometimes. We don't. Uh, we are. We have limited uh, resources on that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But uh, so for the moment, for me, it's 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 nice, but the code would be better. <laughs> exactly. And believe me, for us as teachers as well, because with the more resources that we might uh, show you guys, 
you will practice more. You will have more dynamics, more with, you know, like plays and everything, as you said. But we have sometimes that limitation that uh, not the, all the contents, we can use them because of that. <laughs> uh, one more thing is, is could you give me a, a tips what I can do to learn English easily? <laughs> okay, listen. The tips that worked, worked for me when I was learning English, it was that, for example, in your family, you're the only one who speaks English? Or is uh, someone else in your family that speaks English? In my family, only me. It's just you? Only me. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. There are, there are uh, for example, nowadays it got a different uh, resources in which we can, uh, uh, you know, like practice with. For example, in uh, on YouTube, there is one channel that is called You Talk TV, like this. Give me one second. Oops. Look at this channel on YouTube. You talk uh. TV. What is shown uh. on that channel? There is the, 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 the guy who managed the channel. He chose uh. he chose correct pronunciation of words and uh, verses of words. When to use one specific word that might be a synonym of another one and when to use them and uh, it shows the correct pronunciation. That channel will be helpful to you to improve the way how to use a word and the pronunciation. It's pretty interesting, okay? okay? You can go there and, 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 and you know, like watch the videos and that is really helpful. Another thing is like, I don't know if you listen to uh, music in English, just to train. Yes, it, sometimes I listen to music, I romantic music, but, for me, it's a little bit boring, but it's only for a short time. I like it to hear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. For example, there is another one. I don't know if you are a person who likes uh, topics like related to science, related to technology. But there is one uh, channel, not, not channel actually, this is a web page called like this, Tell. Have you ever heard about that that page? Tell? I never heard before. Oh, okay. Tell. I Listen never heard before. Uh, uh -huh. Give me one second. I will show you something in here. Because this is this is like a, a, a good way, you know, like that we can find to to have extra practice. Uh, okay. For example, it's this page I'm talking about. Give me one second. I'm going to show you. This this page. Look, you just put on Google TED like that. Uh-huh. And this one, it TED, works. Ideas Word Spreading. Uh -huh. this, this type of, uh, of uh, resources are, are, are very useful on here because in here you can watch different topics look in here you can find different topics from uh, technology from uh, different kinds of uh, uh, things related to science and everything all right and uh, what is the cool part about this type of things or, wow. or topics look <clears throat> very interesting I will, I will da, 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 da. text and speakers browser the library. You can browser the library here. For example, look, if I choose this one, for example, it starts, it starts a video. Okay, I'm not gonna play it because you know. Okay, what is the cool part? All the videos are in English. Most of the videos are in English, okay? But in yeah. here, in this part, over here, in this part, look, it says read transcript. Yeah, click on this. If you click on this, in this part, it, going, it is going to appear what the lady is speaking. 
Look, ah, this is really. the script. This is the script what the lady yeah. is speaking. And you know what is the good part? That, for example, if the lady start talking like African is perhaps the continent that needs the leads convincing, it is going to be market itself here. What the, where, where the woman is speaking, it is going to be marked where she is speaking. Really? And, uh, yeah, That's nice. it, it's, it's really cool. Look, and it's the whole script about what she's talking about. Look, everything yeah. is in here. So you can go reading in here and listening to her. And this is the mm. way all the videos on this platform are about. So uh -huh. in here, you're practicing reading and also listening at the same time. Listening. Yes. Exactly. That so this is helpful. This, exactly. This page will help you a lot. It's called like that. Okay. Help. All right. Yeah. yeah. And it's a, I good, will and it's a good resource. That. It's a really good resource because in there you can practice vocabulary and the correct pronunciation of the words. Yeah. Thank you. I will, sir. I will try to find. I okay. practice. I will listen it. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Perfect, sir. Thank you for your help. Right. Okay. okay. And, uh, and remember, every question that you might have in the class, don't hesitate if I am explaining something and you don't understand it, don't hesitate and turn it on your microphone and tell me, hey, teacher, I don't understand this part. Could you please explain again? And I will do it, okay? Okay, thank uh, you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for being patient with us. Okay, now thank you to you, all right, to stay with me this minutes. Okay, good. So if there's nothing else to add, I will wait for you tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay, bye-bye. Okay, nice have, to... have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you, bye. Okay.